this may be the perfect little teapot, short and stout. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda, I just bought this. It's a little teapot, 1.5 liter capacity, and I needed to replace my aged teapot. It was starting to weep at the seams. I've gotten a lot of use out of it. And I like warming up some water for tea, coffee, those types of things. And oftentimes I'm just making it for myself, so I don't need to make a lot of it. Now, I've actually gone through a number of teapots, tea kettles, and I think that this one might be the best one yet because I have learned a lot of stuff. So I want to show you what this one looks like. First of all, it looks like one of those giant, what, 14-inch softballs or something. It's really large. It's pretty cold. Just brought it in from outside. Stainless steel brush finish. It's just a round thing. It's got the flat bottom here, but man, that looks round. It's got a modern look to it. A little Bauhaus almost. Handle right here on the side, and while it's hollow, it is capped here at the top and the bottom. Really kind of cool looking. A little spout right here, wider at the bottom. And then we have a top. Nice big, almost ball bearing top to it. It rotates, but it's got a lot of weight in it. I think this is actually a screw, so take it out like that but screw that back down little vent hole here so i want to pull this out has a couple of these tabs around the edges here that's how it stays in and it also has a diffuser basket in here so if i were to put in tea roasted barley roasted corn you can make tea out of those too then you don't have to worry about it getting in the tea kettle so this is actually an improvement over my old one it even has a little lift out handle right there in case you're making tea right in it but in here one of the nice things is that it has some perforations over the spout so if you do get something in here hopefully it will filter it out it'll catch it so that it doesn't get stuck in here it's a lot easier to clean that way and nice big wide lip right there so should Kind of block out any of the steam coming out and that's really the big thing here so let me show you why this might be the best tea kettle yet all right so here's a tea kettle that i have been using for a long time and it's really great it's one of these whistling tea kettles now the problem with this is that if you do not close this up here you actually cannot grab this handle because the steam is coming out here it's too hot it'll burn you it makes the handle super hot the problem with that is that this top is really tight. It's actually hard to get off because it can't let that steam vent, right? Otherwise you'll burn yourself. But the problem then is that I can't quickly check what the status of the water is. Sometimes I don't want it at a roaring boil. Sometimes I want it warm, but not hot. And so you can't check that. And this one will just kind of get to a boil and then you'll start seeing the steam come out of there. And so I can't check it and I can't pour it without this top. Now, the nice thing about this is that obviously I can pull this top off here, but I can watch it and see what it's doing with the top off, but I don't have to worry about my hand getting burned because the handle's off to the side, so I don't have my hand up here getting steamed to death. So I can just grab it like this, pour out what I need, wait till it just gets some bubbles going, because for me, if I'm gonna make coffee or tea or hot chocolate or something like that, I don't need it boiling. So over a kettle like this, that's why I'm really excited about this one. If keeping your hand from burning over hot steam and being able to monitor the water is gonna make your life a little bit better, I'll put a link to this tea kettle in the description below, Peter Von Panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper we can live better than ever things to peter peter von Pe